5 investigates discovering that the state is paying employees to stay home and not work, and it gets worse. Our Mike Bodette found out it's been going on for years. Take a look. It's another day of no work but full pay for Mark Bradley. Bradley is not doing anything wrong. His life as a court officer at Brockton Superior Court is on hold after the trial court placed him and two other court officers on paid administrative leave. They've been earning their $80,000 a year salaries for not working since November 2017. That's more than four years of money for nothing, 51 months and counting. It's a complete waste of taxpayer money. Paul Craney is with Massachusetts Fiscal Alliance, which pushes for accountability in state government. And when we see stories like this, it doesn't put a lot of faith in the system. So why are three court officers who are supposed to be working here at Brockton Superior Court getting paid to stay at home? The answer dates back to a 2017 criminal case involving a mother and a daughter. They're accused of coming here to help smuggle heroin through inmates appearing in court into the Plymouth County Correctional Facility. Tonight, 54-year-old Christine Lazan of Norwood and her daughter, 25-year-old Tynesha Lazan of Dorchester, are free on personal recognizance. The Lozans are still awaiting trial on drug charges. A police report for their case refers to court officers, even though more than four years later, after investigations and hearings which have not been made public, they haven't been charged with a crime. The Plymouth County District Attorney's Office tells us it closed its investigation over a year ago. According to the police report, investigators set up a hidden camera in this courthouse elevator, which allegedly shows Christine Lozan stashing heroin in the elevator railing and then knocking on the door of the lockup. The only specific mention of Bradley in the report is that he was then seen answering the door. Minutes later, a court officer enters the elevator with a food cart and an inmate who took the drugs from the railing. Bradley's attorney confirmed to five investigates his client is one of the officers under investigation, but says his client did not do anything wrong. In the private sector at most jobs, if there's issues, people are asked to move on. Craney says this case reflects a bigger cultural problem in our state government and points to the pandemic shutdown of the state house, which finally reopened this week. You got a state house that's been closed for two years where you got 200 lawmakers not showing up for a job and they've been getting paid. So there is a bit of a culture. The trial court tells us its employees were placed on paid leave while the district attorney's office launched a criminal investigation and that unpaid leave is only an option if an employee has been charged with a crime which hasn't happened with the court officers. Last year, the trial court finally moved forward with its own investigation and disciplinary hearings but there's still no resolution. A court spokesperson tells us, in light of the long pendency of this investigation without the filing of charges, the trial court is currently considering amending the policy. Five Investigates has learned 11 trial court employees are currently on paid administrative leave. Another case dates back to 2019, nearly three years of getting paid not to work. This is a great example of our state government not being held accountable. William Roach is another court officer on paid leave. His attorney also says his client did nothing wrong and says he wasn't even working on the two days investigators recorded hidden camera video of the alleged drug transactions in the court elevator. The attorneys for Roach and Bradley say their clients want to go back to work. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates. Right now we're